In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a shiny application which can be interactive and your business users can use it. So in the last video, I we discussed that how to create this small little tiny app. This is machine learning do it yourself and this is what we had the code for. So let's understand how you can create a shiny application using the linear regression model, refer our previous set of videos. Uh, this is our linear regression, simple linear regression model. And we are gonna build that linear regression model in this application. Please remember that when you created the application, the Shiny web application for the first time, going through file, new file, and Shiny web app, it also gave you some sample code pre-built. So let's take a look at the sample code once more. So I'm going to undo this. And this is the sample code which is available directly when you go to File, New File and Shiny Web App. Let's run this. In the previous video I just used my set of code but this is what the code it is. I'll say Run App. So this is the Shiny app which always is available. The code is available if you're using R Studio. And what it does is, as soon as you change the histogram or change the slider, the histogram would change accordingly. So this is an interactive dashboard or interactive application which is very, very simple here. So if it is two, it is here two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. Now, let's see how this application is working. I'm gonna close this so this comes out. We discussed earlier that you have to have a UI page, Fluid page, and then server in which you're going to write your R code. Please note that this is the sidebar layout, the slide sidebar, which is having a slider input. The sidebar layout is the location and slider input is the input function. Let's look at the run app. So sidebar layout, this is the sidebar layout and this is the slider input you can see number of bins here and this is the title of the panel which is old faithful geezer data old faith or old faithful geezer data next is how it interacts so the bins is the this bins is the name of the input so for a slider input, the name is bins. And in the main panel, main panel is on the right side is the main panel. They have used plot output, which is the output of the graph histogram. And the name of the output is dist plot. I repeat. The application is divided into two panels, sidebar, which is this one, and the main panel, which is on the right side. In the sidebar panel, you have slider input. The name of this input is bin, with the text number of bins here. In the main panel, the output would be plotted wherever it's disk plot. That means any output which is designated as disk plot would be plotted here. Now, look at this. Output as disk plot and this output is linked directly to here. So whatever is the output of this function would be used as disk plot and it will be plotted on the main part. So as, as, you, as you already know, the UI is basically user interface and this is your R function. Now you have render plot. 
because it's expecting a plot output you would have a render plot which is here and it does a histogram and it does something on the brakes bins and stuff like that so this is how this is a random thing now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it very simple and I'm going to use linear regression which you have been using in the first set of videos instead of doing a hard-coded value of 120 I'm going to pass values through a slider bar which I'm going to use this slider input so let's make the changes and see how I'm making it in the first title I'm going to do linear regression minimum salary I'm going to say 40 and maximum salary I'm going to plot is 250 with a default value the weak default is when you have no value selected I'm gonna say 45 so minimum value maximum value and 45 please note that this is the value earlier it was 1 to 50 with a default of 30 or 25 but here it's gonna change keeping as it is I'm just gonna reload the app you would see it changed linear regression and number of bins starting value 45 with 40 as minimum and 250 as maximum and as in when you change you can see it's still histogram it's not linear because I have not done anything to the output here next target is I am going to get rid of the entire code here from the render plot onwards and I'm going to copy the entire value, the code. And please remember that this is the same linear function. I've done nothing. And I'm, let's run it and see. The value is 1378 for 120. So making sure that the linear regression script is executable. Say copy and paste it here make sure just indentation and so whatever is the last value which is the spend value which is the newly predicted value it's going to be displayed now please run the app it will give you an error or there is nothing on the right side the reason is it is expecting a plot but there is no plot so it's not a plot but it's a table table is the value in a textual format so I'm gonna change the plot to table so instead of rendering a table uh, sorry plot I'm gonna render table and here I'm gonna say table output that means it's not a plot, it's not a graph, it's a table. So please note that these two are linked together and I'm going to run the app and you can see that for for any value here it's still giving me the same value 1378 because it's calculating it's not considering the fact of this slider change it's always considering 120 so now I'm going to make it dynamic so this income of 120 I'm going to replace with bins whatever you select so here I'm gonna change dollar sorry it's, I'm gonna say input dollar bins so this is bins the name here I can change the name also I'm gonna say income INC OME and I would say select income now the value of the variable is income here INC I would say input dollar income that means 
the income for this data frame would be whatever you input using the income variable which is defined here let's reload the app so for 45 the expenses or spend would be 144 and you can see that it's changing and it's predicting here let's do our favorite figure 120 you can see the same value now only for 120 and as and when you change the spend is going to be changing so this is how you would do a linear regression model and you can not just for linear regression but this is the same way you can do it for other models like a priori naive base uh, and all the other things which we have learned in our algorithms in the videos earlier now this is the basic thing which it is as you know that this training is not really you know around shiny but it's more on R so in order to learn more shiny stuff go to this website shiny.rstudio.com and click on get started you would see three parts how to build a shiny app how to customize reactions and how to customize appearances. So this is really something which you would do only when you master R or you have already mastered R. Time for some hands-on. So create a basic structure of a shiny app which we have shown in the previous video and then go to shiny.rstudio.com and click on getting started and read more about shiny apps thank you for watching